What's up, everybody? Lanza here. Today, I'm going to Oshore, and I haven't figured out if there even is Colossus Terminal here, so I'm not going to bother with Solo Colossus this time. It's low pop. I'm just not going to really bother with it. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a base. I also really like construction. I've been doing construction for quite a little bit of time. So I'm going to pull myself a nice little construction thing. And yeah, yeah, just gonna gonna start with that. Build myself a base with the antenator. Ooh, I think I'm in the wrong. Let's go support vehicle discount. Go. Right, let me out. Well. I guess I need to do this the, the manual way. Ah, yes, I see now. Someone has hacked the terminal. So let's just pull my base builder alt. And go hack it, I guess. All right, so wind howling, wind howlers, that's pretty good. Steady pace, yeah, mine lasers better. I would normally choose the yellow jacket because I could switch between the two and just kind of infinite mine, but Oshur has a lot of, a lot of air, and I really don't want to deal with air, so I'm going to just kind of eat it and do the fire rate turbo yeah turbo is probably the best one for me defense deliver module mm -hmm. infantry spawn point sure why not and then racer so let's roll with this already there's oh. there's some spawn right there uh, accordion Okay, so there's one down. Well, there's a lot of Corium here. Oi. Hmm. Well, that's a big one. Oh dear. Can we look closer? Nope. That should probably top me off though at 10 grand. Yep, 8,000. So what I want to do is when looking for a base, I'm like, oh, we already got it. I was going to build right there, but it looks like someone already beat me to it. So instead of building my own base, what I might just end up doing is refreshing that one. Because that to me is the best place. It, it's in the middle. Unless I want to build right there on the plateau or down below here. Normally like to build in the depressed, the depression sort of area because of the sky guard. Sky guard. Uh, sky shield module. If you put that at your lowest point, it will reduce the ability for people to get into your place. But on Oshore, I don't think that that's going to be a huge deal, but let's go take a look. So I want to go over there and let's just kind of turbo my way over. Oh, sweet. This looks like I can turbo my way across the ocean. That's even better. And just kind of top off before I head out. Okay. So he or she has built a base up there. Behind the rock formation, that's pretty smart. But ooh, there's a good way in right there. Um yeah, that's a pretty good base. Wouldn't last very long against concerted effort, but I guess it doesn't really have to. So I'm just gonna build a, a small little 
starter base. And I might not even need to. We'll see in a second. When looking for a spot, you want to look like this area right here. This would be perfect because if I put a sky shield right here, it would extend up just above that that area right there where you see my cursor, which means that C4 fairies and Corium peeps, they're going to have a hard time jumping in. And it's very easily defensible along this line here. You can almost make it like a Normandy area. But I'm willing to bet you I'm not 500 meters away from that base, which means I wouldn't be able to place a silo. But we'll see. Oh, I forgot. One of the... A, a good smart tactic is... And there's another one over there. A smart tactic is to deploy when you've reached your max. Get yourself a cordium silo. And then go back into your... So you see 8,000 and just top off again. And that way you start out with an extra 2,000 for what you're after. And looks like we have a nice little tank line going on over there. Fighting off against something. A player base. Looks like a player base. Yeah, that's a player base. So where do I want to build? 500 meters away from the other one where's the silo i saw it somewhere oh it's right next to me yeah so i need a 500 meters away from that i think it's 500 meters right i think it's more than that might be 5,000. <laughs> i don't remember but let's go ahead and build a base on the other side Ooh, communication module is there another silo right here Normally you don't you can't build that too far away unless it's not a player module. That's interesting. Maybe that's just like a, a normal like NPC reinforcement module. Normally what you do is you put a sunder right next to that reinforcement module and it makes the spawn point global. So pretty cool. I don't it's not used very often, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's build let's build around here. What's a good spot? I want to do two, about 2.25 hexes away from the other base so I can flail it. Where am I? Right there. So, I don't have my grids on. Need to turn my grid on. Okay, so one. Yeah, I could definitely flail that guy. So let's go ahead and start. And this is why I brought my ranger. Get out of here, sucker. Didn't really do anything, but doesn't need to. If I go there, then I'm run the risk of down there. I run the risk of getting shot by all their stuff and that mag rider. But if I instead go back here, let's call it behind this rock formation. Let's first figure out what are my no spawns? How come that's not showing up right now? I know there's a way to do it, I just don't remember. Maybe it's under interface? Where is the no spawn? No deploy. Oh, it's on the mini map. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go back to black. Let's see what that looks like. Oh no, I can't even tell. So I need to go back to white. Okay, so there's... Okay, I'm right outside the note of play. So I'm good to go. And let's do it down here at the lower point. But enough to where there's a, like a natural defense. That's what I'm looking for. And I wonder if the good spot should be down here. That actually looks like a better spot if I can get everything fit in there. Oh dear. I need to hurry. So I'm going to just catapult right off this thing. Okay. And then let's go to work. Yeah, let's... Shoot. Yeah, let's do it here. 
deploy so I have a spawn. Ooh, this is going to be good. So let's put it right behind this rock. And as low as I can get it. You hear that? That, whoo, that low rumbling sound? That is a flail or a glaive. Okay, so there it goes right there. Let's see how low I can get it. Pretty low. Cool. And that's where I want to put it. So, good successful start to the base right there. I need to... I need to dump into this thing. And then refill. Mm, let's... While it's going, let's get a couple things down that I'm gonna need so let's get a sky wall sh no 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 this is the wrong order so I don't want to do that first what I want first is a garage sure garage because then I can stick everything inside but it's so big I'd have to be wary of space so let's go ahead and get it down as much as I can. Right there is fine. Then I can put all the little stuff I need. Repair module. So you can do this inside of a pillbox. You can do this inside of whatever you'd like. But for me, I like using the garages because they're a little bit bigger. And also, I just think that you can kind of do more with it a little bit more defensible uh, in terms of in terms of survivability and there is shoot so let's go I've got a repair module let's get a skywall shield emitter going on And I want to put this one up here, closer. Right. Actually, right here in the middle. Nah. Where's the... There's the opening. So I don't want to get that one, because that's where I can put, like, a reinforcement module or something. And then, last but not least, let's put in a structure shield. So there's my opener right there. And I almost had you right there. Let's get you a little bit closer. Okay. So pretty close. And now we need to fill you up. So I want to get this thing up as much as I can. But I don't want to waste a whole lot of time before I have to... But done a wall, so I've got friends, but let's not let's not go a little crazy. I need to get a wall up. Because of how vulnerable I am right now to encroaching peoples. They do it right up against it. Barely anything. Oh, it goes right into the wall. Good for them. They did that. Let's go up a little more. And then, okay, first wall up. Okay, I'm gonna need another one because that is a big gaping hole. That's not what I wanted. So I misjudged that, but that's not the end of the world. Okay. So I think what I want to do is probably relocate that sky shield in a pillbox. I imagine it makes it a little vulnerable, but 
see how it extends down because I have it a little bit more level. Oh, I'm sorry, a little bit more uh, de-elevated than, than everything else. That kind of helps before I start putting down some things that are going to be massively important. So here's what I want to do. I want to build a anti-vehicle turret and put it here. Right there. That way we can destroy vehicles as they are mulling around. Then I want to put an anti- aircraft turret or in the center so it can defend things then I want to put an alarm module an alarm module a target module that fits in between both of them and I'll know that because it goes green so there it's green and then that's green as well and I think I could do it if I put it right here which I bet you coincidentally is also going to be where I put another repair module that fits both of them. Yep. Even the wall. And then I'm going to want to put an anti personnel toward the back. But kind of at a higher point so that it can see people as they drop. So right there would be good. And I'm going to put my second targeting module in the garage. Now this might hurt the pain spire, but pain spires are not as good anymore, so it might not make a difference. So that's enough for me to kind of move out over here and re-fill up. So you can see the air over there. And I'm not really looking to do much. This base would probably be good for a flail or a glaive base. That's what I would use it for. But because I am underneath all of this, I have to be very careful with how I do that because it fires straight up into the sky. So I don't want to be firing straight up into the rock formation above me. That would not be good. And I need to move that. I need to move this over for sure. So I want to pull my welding device so that I can deconstruct easily. And let's go with, I have to do this kind of fast so that minimum downtime for this thing. Oh, I should have put down my pillbox sooner. So what I want to do is place it right about here somewhere. As low as I can get it. Okay, so that should give me some more room and then I can put my sky wall up in here where it's protected, sort of. I know I can fit it right there. It was right there. So I'm going to use control. There it is. Control. Let's see how far I can get it in there. Control will slow down how fast it goes. Oh no. Shoot. Shouldn't have gotten so fancy with it. Now it's colliding. There we go, right there. Go down as I can. The more down you put it, the more down the top of the shield is. It gives me better room. More room to 
for, for people to not kill me. Because <laughs> it's going to get close to the ground. So that's good. The only thing I don't have right now is an alarm module. Do I have a repair over here? Yes, I do. I don't think I need another repair back over here. So I'm going to put my repair up and to the right. Wait, can I fit a repair in here? Oh, it can fit right there. Nah, it's going to collide. So I'm just going to wait on over here. Fit it right. Right here is a good spot. You just... There we go. Get it down a little bit more. And bam. Okay. So we're looking pretty good. Three bars. It's, it's well enough. I have plenty of time right now. And then let's do... Let's do... Not a bunker. A vehicle gate. That's vehicle gate. Oh, uh, shoot. I might need to move that wall. <laughs> well, no, 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 because I can do it diagonally. So I... Hmm. So the difficult one with this is that there's only so much that you can pull it to you. So let's do it right here. Now let's try and fit it right in here. It's too high. So then I need to slowly move it. It's still colliding. So I need to... I'm an empty. So I need to run over on this side in order to properly maneuver this thing or actually let's do it right here I can do it through the rock now it's brilliant I want to make sure that that bottom piece isn't stuck up otherwise it'll catch the vanguards and everybody else who is trying to get through and now that I say that, I probably want to move my repair module up more. But, nah. Let's just keep it where it is. So that was one end. But, but. There is a gaping hole off to the side over here that we need to close up. Because it looks like walls can now go through rocks. Right? Right? Maybe I should have put a tower there instead. Oh, there it is. Yes. It's perfect. So that will stop some people getting in. Not everybody, but enough. So, that is a good covering right there. Very good covering. See how it kind of goes through the rock, right where the rock is in the opening? Extends out pretty far in both directions. Even the, the AA turret, or the, the anti-infantry turret, will have a crack at people if they come at me. Above the shield. I can't remember, but I thought I remember turrets, like anti-infantry turrets can't pierce our own shield. I, don't remember that well enough to say. Let's put the alarm module in here. Actually, I might be able to fit a communication module. Oh, there we go. So that alarm module will will give me a, a nice little bling bling when someone tries to to come in to me, trying to do stuff. And now let's get. The Flail Master. Now, the Glaive and the Flail have the same range. So, what I need to do is put... Actually, it's not going to matter. One, two... It might be just over. So then, what I want to do is I want to put... The Glaive and the Flail... Well, they're going to have to be away from each other. What do I want to do first? I want... Uh-oh. Somebody's here. They blew up my ant. 
bunch of punks. Oh, there he is, right there, somewhere. Hey, look. Oh my gosh. That's not cool. So there's a bunch of people in here that shouldn't be. Now, what can I do about it? I can get a jackhammer, right? Okay, I can die. Well, my base may not survive. So this is why it's difficult to do it by myself. Oh, there's a Sunday. And my base is not going to survive this. So I'm going to end the video here in a second. But you can basically see what's going on now. <laughs> Uh, let's go with Is there any air anywhere that I can pull? Thank you. Okay, so let's Let's do a base builder alt. So they're blowing my base up sad face I did take a long time to build it so you know I could have made it a little bit Where did it was I? It's right there. Cool formation. I really liked what we were after with it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. So as you can see, a little scythe is run after it. Now, the only real thing I think I can do here is get in that... Yes, or this. I might be able to fight back with this. So it's not, not a bad base. I'm just going to go ahead and kill this thing. <laughs> Didn't realize that I have an... A turret sucker. I'm gonna kill the little skinny guy first. I can kill you faster than that. I can kill you a lot faster than you can kill me. In fact, I can just kill your engineer and then I can kill you. Mm-hmm. I can kill you. And then I can die. I should have gotten out, but, you know, I did end up killing a bunch of them. <laughs> so that's kind of the... And, and a pain spire wouldn't have done nothing for me there. Very, very little, because now it's an EMP. So it wouldn't have even been useful. But I am interested to see that enemies can just walk right through my my shield now so there really isn't much point in doing that anymore either I might as well spend it on doing the outside walls so they destroyed my base are about to I'm not gonna finish I'm not gonna even bother rebuilding it but that was some good lessons learned doing it by yourself up so close to the front line it was risky I knew that and they're able to take me out without any because everyone all my friends are going to mirror bay instead of going to wow waker rift and that's okay that's no problem good good stuff learned that that was a great place to put a base just need probably more people to help me build a base and also need to actually probably just need more people to build a base wait until friends could help me because the you know, by myself, I couldn't defend the whole thing. Pain's Fire would have done nothing because it's EMP instead of hurting health pools. And the AI modules, if I recall, were debuffed? I don't remember now, though. I have to go back and look at the patch notes. And I think some of the, the damage profiles of the turrets were down as well. But now they're having a field day in my base. And, you know, that's what it means to be a solo base builder. Accordion levels at zero. DK beginning. That about sums this one up. All right, everybody. See you.